as we stand, we are going to hear God has put in the servant in his servant's heart. Thank you, Jesus. Can we all stretch our hands out this way? Just begin to pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Everybody pray right now. I, I, I hear the Lord saying it's a corporate move this time. It's not just going to be one or two standing on their own, but it's going to be a, an army of people. And the Lord says, my son, I'm raising up the army. I'm raising up the army. I'm raising up the militant people. I'm raising up the millionaires and the billionaires. I'm raising up the entrepreneurs. I'm raising up the school of ministry. I'm raising up the school of business. I'm going to bring people from around the world. And God says, my hand is coming upon you to do something new and afresh in the city of Nairobi. The Lord spoke to me some months ago and said, a new movement is coming into the city. And he said to me, this time, whoever rises up against it will fall and not get up again. The Lord says, I will break the stronghold that is attacked preachers and attack movements here to kill them as if they never existed. The Lord said, it's a new season. And I make you this promise, my son, Martin Suna, it will never happen again. It will never be thwarted again. It will never be stopped again. Come on, can we begin to pray? You're not praying, you're not praying. Come on, I want to hear the army. I want to hear the army. I want to hear the army. Some of you are going to be called and assigned from visiting this meeting to be connected with this servant of God. You're going to come, and, and God's going to put you together with him. I see the power of the Spirit. Father, I pray, yes, Lord. I pray for the government right now. Let's pray for the government right now. The new government coming in. Lord, I command the Holy Ghost and fire to come upon them, upon the president, upon the deputy president, upon the new cabinet ministers, upon the judiciary, upon all the elected leaders and all the government people. There's a move coming upon the government. The Lord spoke to me and the power of the Holy Ghost is going to begin to come and fill and save many, save and fill many of them. And the Lord says, this day will not be like any other day. The devil thought he had it. The devil thought he won. The devil thought he had it. The devil thought he had this land. But God says, no, I have a remnant and I have a people. And the Lord says, my son, I'm going to bless you financially. I'm going to bless you with wealth. I'm going to bless you with treasures. I'm going to bless you in ways you didn't know. Uh, unexpected things like Isaiah 45 hidden treasures by this you'll know that i am the lord your god who even calls you by your own name the lord says son get ready for the blessings my blessing will make you rich and add no sorrow because you need the resources to do what i've called you to do and god said this time it will flourish even greater than last time any good memories let me prophesy to people any good memories you ever had God says, I will surpass them in this season and day and hour. And even for you, my servant, the Lord says, I'm going to cause something great to happen that you've had a desire in your heart for the next season. And the Lord says, surely, my precious one, the latter house will be greater than the former house. The latter and the early and the latter rain will be poured out in this next season. God says, nothing that's happened before will surpass what I'm about to do. God says, get ready. Get ready, get ready. Army of God, get ready. Come on, lift your voice. Lift up your hands and begin to open your mouth with a voice of triumph. The army is rising. And Father, we break the powers of witchcraft, occultism, uh, wicked spirits behind the scenes, atheist men that thought they had power, the barons and the cartels and the corruption. And the Lord spoke to me and said, the spirit of corruption I'm coming against it. I'm releasing a movement from heaven against corruption in this land. And the Lord says, I want the next generation even to rise to not know the things that have gone on before. The Lord says, it's a new day. And the Lord says, my servant, you've well spoken today. I was getting blessed listening to you. This is the message of the hour. Holiness unto the Lord. Consecration. Because the Holy Spirit has left many houses. The Holy Spirit has been driven out of many places. The Lord says, I'm coming back again. But I'm coming for a holy and a spotless people. 
I'm coming for a people that are without spot and blemish. I'm coming for the, the remnant to have not compromised themselves. Everybody lift your hands and just, there's some repentance that's going to go on today. After this word, we sit here and listen, but God's going to begin to break some hearts. And you say, Lord, do in me what you want. I repent. But don't be afraid to say that. I repent of everything. Everything and anything that stood in the way of you, Holy Spirit, from filling this vessel. Just begin to pray in the Spirit for a minute. Madam Brenshon, Tunda Mande, Sabrunki Kutiso, Balavasete, let the fire of heaven fall upon this land. Man of God, my friend, man of God, my friend, lift your hands. The power of you, 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 my friend, the Holy Ghost is going to raise you. Many other people in here, elevation. I hear the Lord. One more word. The Lord says, elevation is coming to my elect. Elevation. This is the time of elevation. You've cried for it. You've wanted it. You've been suppressed. You've been held down. But now the Lord says, get ready because you're going to begin to rise in great power. <laughs> in the name of Jesus. <laughs>